How many apostles were married and did they practice celibacy? Well, we're not sure exactly which ones were married and which were single or unmarried before they were chosen by Christ. Peter was certainly married. John, is commonly believed, was celibate before he was called by Christ. However, is the church's teaching that all the apostles remained celibate after they became apostles. And Christ somehow provided for the welfare of their wives and families. A related question. When and for what reason did it become a requirement for priests to be celibate? The primary reason for celibacy in the Catholic priesthood is Christ's own celibacy. Primary reason. The second reason was the apostles lived celibate lives. Celibacy over the centuries and the priesthood has proved to be one of the great treasures of the Catholic Church. How so? It protects the Church from those in the priesthood or more still in the episcopate favoring their own offspring, their own families. Celebration assures a priest of freedom to do the work of Christ which he could not possibly do if he were a married man with a family. My mother, as I think I've said before, was Byzantine. And until I began going to grammar school, which was a Latin rite grammar school, I belonged to the Byzantine parish of my mother. My first pastor was a Marian man with five children. Because the Byzantine rite, as you know, is allowed to have a married priesthood. Pardon me, it was allowed in the United States that Pope Pius XI then changed that privilege. In any case, my pastor, how well I know from my mother telling me, two of his five children were divorced. Imagine a priest on a Sunday morning preaching fidelity and marriage when his own children have been divorced and remarried. Freedom. Again, celibacy, I can say this with all my heart. It is not easy, but I assure you, it is not only possible, but very, comma, very enjoyable, honest. However, it is not, humanly speaking, easy. God, however, rewards celibacy with extraordinary graces. And that, I think, is the crowning reason for celibacy of the priest in the Catholic Church. The graces assured a faithful celibate priest are such as no human power can confer.